वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स एंड बेसिस सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट थेरीज ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड दैट इज पी के ए एंड द फैक्टर्स ऑफ द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स बट first thing why it is necessary to study the strength of acids and bases so acids and bases are one of the most reactive species in organic chemistry and these acids and bases are obviously important because most of the organic and biological processes are catalyzed by acids and bases so this tells us the pka and what is the pka and what use is it so pka generally tells us how acidic is the hydrogen atom is and this is useful because the first step of the reaction is either protonation or deprotonation so therefore it is important to know the pka value and it is obviously necessary to know where the compound would be protonated or deprotonated and what strength of the acid or base would be needed right so if one of the reaction re one of the reaction required a weak base to deprotonate the re other reactant and if we are using the strong base instead of weak one then it will be totally loss of our efforts because uh, if we consider the example of uh, walnut if we are using a sledge hammer to crack the walnut and there we would be succeeded to crack the walnut but in this process that walnut would be totally destroyed therefore it is very important to study the strength of acids and bases okay now let's start with our first point that is different theories of acids and bases so different theories of acids and bases so here is the first theory is arrhenius theory according to arrhenius theory an acid is a hydrogen compound which gives h plus ion in aqueous medium that is hydrogen ion in aqueous solution example is hcl and hno3 so here the hcl which get dissociates to h plus and cl minus that means hcl gives h plus ion in aqueous medium and second example is of hno3 so hno3 gives h plus and no3 minus and according to arrhenius theory a, a base is a hydroxide compound that gives hydroxyl ion that is oh minus ion in aqueous solution example of base is naoh koh etc so here is the dissociation of naoh and koh so naoh dissociates into na plus and oh minus and koh dissociates into k plus and oh minus ions second theory is lori bronsted theory or bronsted lori theory it is also a protonic definition so according to lori bronsted theory an acid is a substance that is capable of donating proton and base is a substance that is capable of accepting protons example of acid base of lori bronsted theory is here here hcl and h2 gives h3o plus and cl minus ion so in this reaction hcl donate its h plus ion to h2o that means here hcl is an acid and water is an base according to lori bronsted theory because here hcl donate h plus and h2o accept h plus okay and third theory is lewis theory so according to lewis theory an acid is any substance or species that is capable of accepting electron pair example of this acid lewis acid is all the cations that is ag plus cu2 plus all cations acts as an acid according to lewis theory 
and electron deficient molecule in which the central atom has an incomplete octet so example of this is alcl3 that is aluminum chloride bf3 these are the examples of lewis acid then lewis base is any substance or species that is capable of donating electron pair so here example is all the anions that is oh minus f minus c n minus these are the examples of lewis base along with this all the electron pair donor that is h2o nh3 these are also lewis base and third example is olefinic compound which can able to donate the pi electrons from their pi bonds to the transition metal and form the complex so this is the third example of lewis base so these are the different theories of acids and bases arrhenius theory lori bronsted theory or bronsted lori theory and lewis theory now let's move towards our next point that is the strength of acid that is pk a so here first we will consider any acid that is either ah or ha which undergoing dissociation to form this ah in aqueous medium gives h3o plus and a minus so in this case this a minus which is negatively charged species is nothing but the conjugate base remember this this a minus is conjugate base of this acid ah okay the equilibrium constant for this reaction is given as the concentration of product divided by the concentration of reactant so here k equilibrium is equal to the concentration of h3o plus into concentration of a minus divided by the concentration of ha and concentrate multiplied by concentration of h2 so this is supposed to be equation number 1 but in this reaction the water is taken in excess okay so water is always in excess so its concentration is taken as practically constant so therefore we put there a new constant k dash for the concentration of water so therefore equation 2 becomes k equilibrium is equal to the concentration of h3o plus into concentration of a minus divided by the concentration of ha multiplied by the new constant k dash so this is equation number 2 now we will rearrange this equation as k equilibrium multiplied by k dash is equal to the concentration of h3o plus into concentration of a minus divided by the concentration of ha so this is our equation number 3 now here so this k equilibrium multiplied by k dash is nothing but the k a is equal to the h3o plus into concentration of a minus divided by the concentration of ha so this is our equation number 4 where ka is nothing but the dissociation constant for an acid now let's see here again reaction and the equation so what this tells us so for stronger acid there will be more dissociation right that is the concentration of h3o plus and a minus will be larger and the concentration of ah or ha will be less so therefore for stronger acid kb oh sorry ka should be large thus ka increases the strength of acid increases that means dissociation increases strength of acid increases and ka increases right so like ph we can define pka so pk is equal to minus log of ka so therefore as the strength of acid increases ka increases but at the same time pka decreases so this is how the strength of acid measures right so as the dissociation increases as the dissociation increases ka increases strength of acid increases and pka decreases 
now the next point is factors affecting strength of acid so which factors affect the strength of acid which acid is strong one and which one will be weak so for there are four factors which can affect the strength of acid first factor is strength of a h bond then second is electronegativity of a stability of conjugate base a and fourth one is nature of solvent so these four factors which affects the strength of acid and tells us which acid is strong one and which acid is weak one now let's see one by one so first is strength of ah bond so as the strength of ah bond increases the extent of dissociation of the acid will be decreases and this will decrease the acid strength so here is the example of strength of ah bond hf hcl hbr and h i so here you can see that the size of atom goes on increasing from fluorine to chlorine chlorine to bromine and bromine to iodine so size of atom increases bond polarity also increases from hf to h i right so here there is from hf hcl hbr and hi there is increasing order of bond dissociation energy so for hf there is there will be greater bond dissociation energy than hcl then hbr and then hi so hi has the very less bond dissociation require very less bond dissociation energy that means this bond will break faster right so as the bond between hi will break faster that means it dissociates very easily therefore the acid strength will be reversed right so hf will be less acidic than hcl then hbr and then hi so this is the order of increasing acid strength so as the strength of ah bond increases the extent of dissociation of the acid will decrease and this will decrease the acid strength second factor is electronegativity of a so according to this factor as the electronegativity of a increases the formal positive charge on hydrogen atom increases right so this will increase the acid strength so here is the example of increasing acidity from ch4 to nh3 to h2 and then hf so in this case hf is more stronger acid than h2 then nh3 and then ch4 also there is increasing stability from ch3 minus to nh2 minus oh minus and f minus so here we can see that there is increasing electronegativity from carbon to nitrogen to oxygen and fluorine fluorine is the most electronegative atom right so this is the electronegativity of a as the electronegativity of a increases formal positive charge on this hydrogen atom will also increase and hence it increases the acid strength next factor is stability of conjugate base a minus that i have told you previous in the reaction that a minus is known as conjugate base so as the stability of conjugate base a minus increases its tendency to recombine with h plus will decrease that is the concentration of h plus will increase right and acid strength will also increase so remember these factors which can affects the stability of conjugate base a minus so minus r minus i effect increases the stability of conjugate base a minus and hence increases the acidity and at the same time the plus i plus r effect increases the which decreases the stability of conjugate base a minus and hence it decreases the acidity so this is the third factor which can affect the strength of acid and fourth factor is important nature of solvent the better 
solvent is that stabilize the ion form the easier it is for the reaction to occur so dissociation is going to involve the formation of ions as usual a minus and h plus ions are formed and hence polar solvent such as water will not only assist the process of dissociation of the acid but also stabilizes the ion form in the reaction by solvation process so non polar solvents on the other hand will oppose the dissociation and also destabilizes the conjugate base or ions form so if the polarity of solvent increases it increases the strength of acid because they solvate the ions form and stabilizes the conjugate base by the solvation process right here you can see the example of hcl so hcl dissociates into water and this h plus will stabilized by this oxygen of water by solvation process and cl minus ion get stabilized due to solvation process so this is how the solvation process take place thank you